There's not an orchestra on the planet that doesn't get better once it travels together. I want to make sure that we're performing repertoire that they will live with throughout their careers. And certainly Mussorgsky's Pictures at an Exhibition in the Ravel Arrangement is one of those pieces that they will play over and over and over again throughout their careers because it's just a great piece. Pictures at an Exhibition. It was commissioned by Michael Tilson Thomas of the New World Symphony and produced by Mike Patterson and Candice Reckinger at the USC School for the Cinematic Arts. It's a piece of software that manipulates the video in real time to a live event. Having a wireless connection to an iPad, you're able to move and communicate with the conductor. We can move faster together, we can move slower together. When one interprets this particular work in this orchestration or with Ravel's name attached to it, the word orchestral color has to come to mind. You have to approach it much like a French work so that the blending of instruments, the colors, the shapes, the use of percussion, the use of brass, the low strings, pizzicato, harp, glissandi, these kinds of things become a part of this work which allows it to not only just have this Russian flavor, but also this flourish of French color. We premiered for the gala uh, grand opening of New World Center, uh, Frank Gehry's building. We went through all the music, uh to understand what was significant in each part and, uh, and to talk a lot about visual ideas. The audience reaction was, was really amazing. There were people that were crying at the end of it, and these were people who were older who had heard the piece dozens of times, as well as young people. When we return home tomorrow night, we will really be a different orchestra than when we started rehearsing at the beginning of the season. Each and every moment they spend in the Thornton Symphony needs to be a moment where we are investing into the future of orchestral performance in this country today. And as I look at this symphony orchestra that's playing this concert this, this evening, you can feel it already that the future of music is in great hands. <laughs>